all right folks today we're gonna take a look at some shoeing crane 3s accessories that i've added to my crane 3s right here the main thing we're gonna take a look at is this dual grip gimbal handle that i have on this setup right here and as you can see it is in the underslung mode and not in the normal upright position as you would normally use the gimbal there are three main reasons why i have it like this and i will break that down in this video so let's take a look at what i got on this crane 3s i get into this video here we go So as I said, we're going to take a look at this setup right here for the crane dress and why I have it like this. As I said, there are three, three main reasons. So the first reason why I have it like this is the dual handle grip control. Let me just take it down so you can see it. All right, as you can see, when you have the gimbal like this, you have a nice dual handle control of the gimbal. You can easily steer the gimbal in any direction you want to. So that is one of the main reasons why I have this nice control here. You can see on the Crane 3 lab here, which is similar to the Crane 3S and the built, you would use it like this in the position where your shoulders are tucked in, but you don't have as much control when you're holding like this. As soon as you have a dual hand grip, just adding a grip like this one on the side, you will have a much wider shoulder posture and it's much easier to control the gimbal. But the wider it is, the better it is. So therefore I have this nice dual handle grip which gives me a wide base grip when I'm controlling the gimbal. So the second reason why, why I have this crane trailer set up like this is because of the weight distribution of the gimbal. I'm moving all the weight down towards the center of my my body instead of moving it out in front of me if we we're shooting with it in the normal upright position. Let me just show you what I mean. As you can see here when I'm standing with the gimbal right here I have all the weight down here by my belly where I have a lot of strength and I can use the gimbal I can move around without any problems. As soon as I have the, the dual handle grip and stand like this, my shoulders are back, I have a nice posture when I'm using the gimbal and it won't hurt my back when I'm moving around and using the gimbal. If I had it in the upright position where all the weight were out in front of me, uh, I would put a lot of force on my back and would not be able to work for a longer period of time as I can with this great setup I have right here. The third reason why I have it like this is because when I use the Crane 3S with the setup, I use it with my Segway. That elevates me a bit because there's wheel on it and I get a higher perspective. Then the gimbal is in the perfect spot for filming and I don't have to lower it. If I had it in the upright position, I have to lower the gimbal and again I have to crumble down with my back, hurting my back. So having an upright position, just moving around on the Segway, with this one is just perfect. And using the Segway is just the best thing ever. If you haven't tried it, you should because you will just get the most stable shot. There's no jitters, there's no bumps, no up and downs. And yeah, just works like a charm. So that was the three main reasons why I have this setup like this. Let's just take a look at some of the other benefits you get for this system as it is right here. All right, so as you can see, now I have the gimbal down and the great benefits of having it like this is now I have the on and off switch right here for the camera, for the camera control. So once I press that, the gimbal and the camera is, is uh, recording. I press it again and it stopped recording. Pretty dope. The next thing is I have now the follow button right here in front of me. I can just press once, then it's in follow mode. You can see it goes up and down in follow mode press once again and it is back into pan follow double press and it goes into the zero position so it's pretty nice that i have these features just right in front of me uh, when i have it down here in the sling mode it just feels better than having it in the upright position i have to say and if you have to walk with it you can just put it down by the side and walk around with it it's not a problem at all but as you can see i have it on this tuning stand which is kind of mandatory to have when you're going to use it as a dual handle grip in the sling mode uh, position because you want to be able to set it down. So it's not a run and gun shooting thing because you want to have this stand nearby you. 
This stand right here, let me just take this off. This stand right here I bought off of AliExpress. I think it was around 30 bucks. It also had some legs for this, this uh, middle post here, but it's not long enough. It will hit the table, the gimbal will hit the table. So therefore I've just put it on the C stand. And one of the great things of having it on the C stand is now I got it up in height. And if I need to review some footage, it is in the perfect spot. Let me show you. You see, if I have to review footage, I can just stand here, review the footage on the screen. Works like a charm. So if you want to learn more about working with gimbals and becoming a gimbal pro, I'm currently creating the Gimbal Academy, which will teach you all aspects of working with gimbals and filmmaking with motion. So if you're interested, I have an email list which you can sign up for, and that will give you early access and a discounted price to the actual academy. So I hope to see you in there. Links are in the description. Another great thing about this setup is having the monitor right here. It is just in eyesight and it sits in the perfect spot. I'm using the field monitor mount. I just recently made a dedicated video for this mount and how I use a monitor with my Weeble S. You can go back and watch that. There's some great tips in that video as well. So that is my Crane 3S dual handle grip setup right here. Small Rig makes a similar model. It's also a dual handle grip, but with theirs, you can leave the legs on or you can screw the legs onto the system. You cannot do that on this one. But again, you can still flip the system, use it upside down and put the gimbal down on these feet. It's not a problem. I just added some races so it won't tip over, so it's aligned with this one, with this right here. All right, so there's one thing that I'm missing on the system right here, and that is being able to use the follow focus wheel right there with my thumb controlling the ND filter. I've made a video about that as well. I cannot do that on this system, but don't worry, a great little thing is coming in with the mail soon where I will be able to wireless control the follow focus um, motor so a dedicated video for that is coming up very soon all right i just want to mention that this particular dual handle grip is not made specifically for the crane 3s it's a universal grip so as long as you have a 3 8 screw or a quarter inch in the bottom of your gimbal this dual handle grip will fit you can also adjust the arms in and out so it will fit uh, the length of your body it's pretty nice it's 80 bucks and you can find it on amazon it's called AFI or something like that. I'll put the links in the description. So if this is the first time you're here, remember to subscribe if you want to learn more about filmmaking with motion. All right, guys, that is it. I don't have any more for you today. All I just want to say, if you have any questions, just leave them down below and I'll answer as good as I can. Until next time, stay creative and stay safe. And if you can, go out and shoot some dope videos. See you next time. Bye.